Good evening. I am doing a new mod to this Triumph Thrust Noah, which is to remove the standard muffler silencers. This is a really popular mod at the moment. Um, a lot of people are looking for aftermarket slip-ons and all that kind of stuff. Uh, there's still not a lot out there in the market for this bike at this point um, in terms of exhaust kits. And uh, one thing that's uh, started to catch on is just taking off the, the rear silencers. Um, the reason you can get away with that on this bike is that uh, the rear catalyst um, uh, creates enough back pressure so that you don't actually need the silencers. It doesn't create a huge amount of obnoxious noise um, and uh, it, it just adds a, that little bit of deep resonance um, to the exhaust note. Um, you're also saving a lot of weight uh, and uh, it, it's just a shorter profile for the, for the look of for the bike. You know, some people prefer the big classic silencers. Um, me, I prefer to uh, take some weight off the rear wheel, um, you know, especially in the corners. I've got some black headers on there now. Uh, I'm just going to strip down uh, the silencer and I'm just going to see how it, how it rides and see if I can feel the difference. Um, it's a very simple and easy mod to do. Um, so you know, it's completely quickly reversible. It takes five minutes. Uh, so I'm just going to uh, walk you through it. First thing you're going to want to do if you have uh, pillion pegs, uh, you're just going to want to uh, take that off. You just need a couple of sockets for this job. Uh, you need a 10 mil and uh, you need a whoop. and you need a 12 mil there. So um, first thing you're going to want to do is just to loosen this but don't remove the uh, peg just yet. So I'm just going to do that now. Okay, one point. When you're taking the uh, bolt, uh, so they're not off the, uh, the pillion peg bolt, one thing you're going to notice is inside uh, the nut is not fixed in place. It's just kind of floating there. So if you start just twisting that, it's, it's just going to turn with it and uh, you're going to be doing that forever. So there's a little trick to this. There's an easy way and a hard way of doing this. Um, the hard way is you, you're gonna have to, you take you snap these out, risk the ball bearing flying across the room, uh, and uh, then you um, hold that in place, or um, you just maintain a little bit of pressure on the screw by pressing down on the peg uh, while you're uh, while you're twisting off the, the nut. Um, so that's just a little tip uh, when you, you know, if you're taking these pegs off, just something to look out for. Um, what I've done now is take that off. I'm gonna leave this. Uh, supporting the exhaust, just twist the other one off, uh, take off the clamp, uh, and then loosen these off. These are not really securely uh, glued in or, or with, with any uh, exhaust uh, um, paste or anything like that, so uh, you can just slide these off pretty easily once the clamp's off. Just gonna do that now. Okay, so there we go. So the hardest part of this really is getting these uh, these nuts off the uh, the pillion uh, bolts. Um, because the inner bolt twists, like I mentioned. So what you can do, um, use a small plier or a uh, screwdriver or something and just wedge it in there to stop that screw twisting around. Um, and then you can actually get some grip and, and tighten that on. So uh, there we go, all back in. What you can also do is uh, inside the, uh, the slip-on, you'll have uh, some metal uh, uh, bushings there that uh, are normally sit inside uh, this whole bit here, which is which is bracing the uh, the slip on on the, the silencer, um, you can you can use the metal bit. Um, I've left the rubber off, and I'll keep that safe because uh, otherwise it's going to get exposed uh, more exposed to the elements. Um, but you can use the metal bit to support the screw, so that way it's got something to uh, to brace on, and uh, you're not winding this um, this nut all the way back against the frame because uh, then you're going to have a tougher time getting it off. So you just got something to uh, to secure that, and that's all very solid and it's down. It's all good. So um, the moment of truth now is really firing up the bike. So um, let's uh, check that out and let's check out some exhaust noise. Oh, one other thing that's really cool is now I've got a little room to work on these uh, uh, to access the shocks, which are very nice and uh, nicely exposed now. It's just a nice look for the bike now. It's nice short headers which I quite like. Alright let's fire it up. Okay so uh, apologies I haven't done a uh, before and after on this. 
Uh, but this is just a sample of the noise. So now, because I'm on a fast and I've got the three rider mode, so we're now sitting in rain mode. So I'm just warming up, just getting the ECU used to this. You get a much lower growl than you would before. And there's a bit of popping there in the uh, in the window, so let's switch this into road now. Road. It's not so much popping. Bit of popping. Bit of pop. Okay, that's 